marking out my line. Who's doing the cutting? Unless you get the scaffolding, you are. <laughs> this one's for me, okay. Handy that little laser level, isn't it? It doesn't go through ladders though. Well, this is the last cut into the wall, the messy bit, if you like. And then we can have a good clear up. We might even be able to get the, uh, the underlay up. We can see uh, the full glory of the hallway. Sunday. It's about outside, so I don't need to shut the window. Uh, um, is that piece of granite you're whacking not holding the shadow up? Well, if it was, it's coming down my head. You've got a flat head anyway. All good so far. <laughs> Why do you have a flat head? Because my mother slammed the estate door car at the back on my head. <laughs> so the camera's shaking because I'm laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> it has an advantage. I won every beanbag race. You know the one on your head where you ran when you were at school? I always won. It just unfortunately affected my brain. Hence why you bought a chateau. <laughs> exactly. Exactly mine. Oh dear. Yeah, there's only a couple of bits, just sticking proud. But all I'm doing is um, out of the lump of granite, it's quite easy to work a piece of granite, so I'm just chipping a diagonal into it, and then the conduit will just pop into that V. Well, that's the plan. That's the plan. Tell what it is. This is another reason we keep the gate shut. <laughs> so no one can, can come in and complain. Well the neighbours come in with their pitchforks. Okay, I'm done. My work is done. Adrian's up the ladder again. It looks like Henry is out of action. And it looks like he's been replaced with another sucker. <laughs> oh, welcome, no. welcome Rob to the chateau. Hello, <laughs> We've stolen him from the boys over at Arasau. We I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. What was that? We gave him a lovely bedroom. We, we took did. Him out, we took him out of his Japanese sweat box. Oh. And we gave him a proper shower and a proper toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so Adrian's got a helping hand for a few days. Well, I think we're going to share him, aren't we? We are, yes. I don't need him for too long, but um, he will be a very helpful addition, won't he? And he might not swear at you like I do. And he made us one impressive dinner last night so he's now become the official chef <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm moving in oh are you now <laughs> yes for five hundred and thirty thousand euros you can move in sold <laughs> go on then it's gonna pull my end is it not moving oh oh it's coming but rob's obviously not strong enough bring back henry <laughs> 
I'm going to the garden and I'll come back. So while the boys are in the hallway playing of electrics, I'm coming up to the garden and we only went to England for a couple of days and unfortunately on our return we found that all the tomatoes had got blight, completely diseased. One I've already removed and now I'm going to have to take these two out. There's no saving them, it's just gone so far. It's just a shame all that time looking after them supporting them and watering them everything's just gone a bit haywire maybe the chateau has realized that we're trying to sell <laughs> i'm gonna have to get a lot of weeding done but if you look under here at least we've got one giant cucumber oh there's a few more actually but this has been working quite well so they're dangling there that one's ready to cut off now So my time this afternoon will be spent up here before I go and jump in the pool. Well, that was a real shame, but the tomatoes are gone. Um, maybe next year I'll give them tomato right and see if they do any better. Or it may be if something have been in the bed already. Uh, we used a different bed last year. But they're done with. So these are the agapanthus that I had in a pot and they were pot bound. So I've read that if you split them up, spread them out, dry them out, split them up, wrap them in newspaper, store them and we can replant them next year and see what happens. Having a big clear out of this area down here, I'm hoping that sometime tomorrow or during the course of the week I can get some help in here. I'm a bit tired now of cutting this down once or twice a year. I've got a load of packaging cardboard that I bought back from England. So I'm going to strip all that out, put the cardboard down and hope for the best. And let's hope that the weeds don't go back again. Unfortunately the gladioli got bent in the wind. So as he said, Adrian was going up on the roof. He's waited for the perfect day. Look at that sky. Gorgeous. And he's got Rob as ballast on the other end of him. And as you can see, he is up on the roof. No one would know he's scared of heights. He's praying <laughs> on wheel. <laughs> he has got his harness on and like I said, he's roped to Rob, who is in one of the top bedrooms. So I'm, uh, I knew about a couple of tiles on the Northeast Tower uh, that were a bit, um, well, they need replacing, a few are cracked. So I, it's a job I know I need to do. And now we've got rain coming in again uh, next week. Hopefully it's nothing like the rain they've got in uh, LA at the moment, but uh, we definitely have rain coming in. So it's not an easy one to get to with the cherry picker, being the fact that the cherry picker would have to be right down there and I'd have to come up this face. So I'd have to come up here, but also across to this face here. So for me, it's easier just to climb out. Um, I've hooked up a ladder onto the hook, which is what they did in the old days. And then I can work off that and get and replace it all. In fact, as many as I can see that I think need replaced. I've got plenty of spare tiles. I'll pop them in. <clears throat> and uh, you are all wondering, I have got a harness on, haven't I? Yes, not only have I got a harness, I've got my, my trusty buddy down there, Rob. <laughs> now I'm going to know if he does love me or not. <laughs> Don't let go. Oh, how are you paying me? <laughs> right, so uh, let's, let's do that. And um, as I said, hopefully we can get this completely watertight uh not that it was leaking but uh, a good rain in and the wind in the wrong direction stupid so that but does make a difference uh for getting the water inside <laughs> oh maybe he's pretending to be santa now He 
he's a brave man. Um, he says he's happy, he's coming on down. Preferably the right way. Oh, here comes Sleepyhead. Dear! You've got a brother too. To find out how, job, how Rob's feeling after being Adrian's lifeline. Hello. Hello, you two. Do you know what? That's good somebody. Oh. Mind your fingers, Rob. Now, how do you feel about being Adrian's lifeline? Good. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> you aren't going to let me go. I'm going to let me go. Nah, nah. You might let me dangle a bit. You would have. Yeah. No, oh, Rob, I did not say that. How rude of you. <laughs> Why are you nodding your head then? <laughs> <laughs> job done. Water tight again. On to the next job. Next job. Next job. Next job, I thought, was um, sunbathing. For you might be for you. Yeah, no, We've still got lighting. Go to the tip, we gotta do the oh yeah, electric. the shattery. And I've got to do the uh, mobile line. So oh. he's a workaholic. I'm surprised Terry let him go. <laughs> right. So as I mentioned yesterday, I wanted to get all this cleared out, and our wonderful friend Matt's arrived. <laughs> and he's already got stuck into it. I don't think time I get here, there'll be anything left for me to do. Closet. You're going back in the closet. <laughs> trying to, Rob's trying to get the tacks out of this chair. I found it impossible. Oh no, you're not going to put that on. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> Left talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was able to get the arms off. Oh wow, you've off. got all the back off as well. And now half the front or half, oh. the, half the seat. Excellent. So we got a new name for him. What's that? We call him Tack Man. Tack Man. Sounds like a superhero. You can be a Tack Man. I'm tacky. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, you don't have much space to work in there. Yeah, but I don't really need I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's another job that I don't have to do. This was pretty fabric at one time. It wasn't bad, was it? No, oh, look. And they put, they stuffed some material in the front of the seat. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, right there. But oddly, that's faded. Oh, to pad it out? Maybe they yeah, won't yeah, run out of wooding. right in here. I see. Yeah, the, bad, the chairs themselves aren't in that bad a condition. You can see from this one, I haven't had to do anything to that. Mm. Um, so hopefully, once you've got those tacks out, and um, we can sand it and get that one painted. Yeah. And then maybe you could take it back to Terry's and he could do them for me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a job I'm going to have to tackle myself. Yeah. But they're well and truly in there, those tacks, aren't they? They are. So we've got the lever that I bought specially years ago that prizes them out, hopefully without damaging the wood too much. Yeah, there's about... A thousand more tacks though to go. Yeah, that's why I was putting it off. Yeah. Well, what a difference that's made. Um, yeah, good job, Matt. Um, I think Carol helped out a little bit, but uh, Matt uh, really got rid of all that, um, which is a, which was a horrible job, um, especially the amount of stingers in there. I think actually he did sting himself, so uh, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good area, this. And uh, if we can get the cardboard down, 
uh, suppress the weeds so we don't get them coming up. This is where we keep the wheelie bins, etc. And uh, I think if we were staying, we'd have reinstated the roof a bit better and we actually keep the tractors under here, you know, the lawnmowers, etc. So it's quite a big area. But um, yeah, once again, thank you very much, Matt. Right, so Matt's popped in with, well... Uh, no, Matt's been home after his gardening chores. He's got changed and come back from yes. barbecue, but he's also <laughs> bought a little gift. Oh, yes. Oh, so, um... as you know, Matt does origami and he's entering into... Oh, the, the World uh, Origami Marathon in September. So it's uh, an event um, that goes around the world virtually. Uh, 48, um, 48 uh, teachers that uh, do uh, one an hour. So yep. uh, I've been asked to, to do an hour on um, in, in the marathon. So, and you represent France. Well, yes, yes, even though <laughs> hey. I'm English, which is a, a bit strange. In English. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be more French people there as well. But he's bought us something that he's done. Oh, wow. yes. Um, okay. Well, I've, um, I thought I'd do the, uh, the chateau in origami, so I've um, made, also made some for... Uh, made uh, another one for La Lacelle Chateau. Um, so one, one's got two, <laughs> one's got, um, as you know, one's got two towers and one's got one, so um, that's the... We've got four. Yes, but this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is flat, so it's not a 3D Chateau. So that's La Lacelle and then that's, that's Verte. Um, and then I, I did little ones as well, so... I kind of in the windows. Your mock ups in the my, windows. My drawing isn't too good, but uh, yeah. So that's uh, I think there's some of them stand, stand up. up. Yeah. Lala sells out of proportion. It's so much smaller. Look. Well, well, I did this Let's from put, half a back. square. Yeah. <laughs> put it in the garden. I see that, that way out of proportion. Yes. Oh, look yeah. at them. <laughs> so. Lala La sell if you want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> we can sell it to you. <laughs> Uh, no, it's, it's, it's fun doing it. It's just working, working out, out how uh, to these towers it. and how to get it all into proportion. Really. But, uh... Right, uh, that's the wiring, loom, etc. in. Um, I waited, I said to Carol, don't bomb them in. Uh, well, she started down the bottom just to double check everything's working. And well, hopefully, from the switch up by the temporary kitchen. Yay, we have. Four lights on a two-way switch. So, uh, I said, when you come in the hallway, I've, like I said, we'll still clear up, so we'll ignore all the loose wiring at the moment. But there we go, the four-way switch. So now Cal can get in here tomorrow, get all this conduit uh, bonded in, and then um, I'll have to remove, I haven't got a uh, little terminal, so I'll get the uh, sconces out of the way and then we can get them back in and earthed up. Right, so not only have we got the uh, sconces in place, we've even got now all the insulation in, the 220 mil insulation, which as you can see is sitting uh, between the secondary rail and the uh, lath and plaster above. And uh, now all we need now is the plasterboard. I was hoping that would be here to actually today. I thought it was gonna be, uh, but I've been told it should be here tomorrow at eight o'clock. Wow. So uh, touch wood, we can then get in here tomorrow. And now I don't need to do anything on the sconces and um, uh, get the board up. And then these, these four bed, well, these rooms upstairs will start to uh, look a lot better. Now that's a sight I really wanted to see. So uh, first thing this morning, uh, as promised, the uh, insulation board uh, turns up. So uh, now we can just, uh, yeah, <laughs> lump them upstairs, which is gonna be a challenge, but uh, that's where they gotta go. So we just popped out. We've never actually lit the whole chateau up with the lights on, or most of the lights on, uh, with the three floors, but um, yeah, wow. Um, <laughs> can't believe we've never done it before and what a difference now I don't think it's coming out on camera very well which is a real shame um, the orange glow of the salon is just impressive it's so good it really feels inviting uh, unfortunately some of the other ones the brighter LED lights in there for instance Bethany's bedroom middle far left but then we go up and also to the top floor 
in uh, the room we're just doing the um, insulation in. Uh, yeah, crumbs. <laughs>